Hello, welcome back. I have literally just reloaded my save and it has brought me back to the save point before the end, before we fought Asgore. So now we're going to go back and talk to Dr. Alphys because, you know, that's what Flowery told us to do. So here we go. Don't really know where to go exactly, I'm guessing straight to the lab, but we'll find out, shall we? Alright, so I was walking out the court and I've just got a phone call, so let's see what this is. Ring! Hey, yeah, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please. I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk! Click. Alright, so we're gonna go to Snowden and you can meet me there. But. Okay, so now we're back in Snowden. So let's go uh, meet up with these cheeky pair, shall we? Hey, I have something to give you, but you're carrying way too much. All right, let's uh, drop some dog food, uh, junk food then. Don't know why I said dog food. Um, so I have a favour to ask you. Uh, I I need you to deliver this letter to Doctor Alfie's, huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Heartland sucks! I don't want to have to go there. So here you go. You got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. We couldn't kill me before, so. Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back to rewrite. That's why she asked you, because you have no standards. Oh, uh, thanks. Um, I'm guessing now we're going back to Hotland. This is going to be a lot of cuts. Tra la la, care for a ride? Ride in the boat, yes. Where will we go today? Let's go to Heartland, please. Then we're off. Yeah, um, this is how I've been getting around, in case you were wondering. I wasn't walking all the way back, because that'd be a nightmare. Turns out this guy, who I missed before, is actually a river boatman, and he uh, takes you to different areas. Pet, pet, pet! The neck stretches infinitely into the cosmos. Don't worry about it. I will not, my good friend. I will not. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? Slide. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Knock, knock, knock! Uh, oh, no, 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 is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can't I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it, it's shook kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. What does she use to close that letter? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. And I ha had no idea you were wrote that way. It's surprising too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Oh, not another date. Fucking hell. Dating start. Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. Aw, oh, she dolled herself up. Uh, how do I look? My friends helped me pick out this dress. What friend? She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating start. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop. Um, I gotta give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Right? 
Anyway, d don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a day like this. F first, I've got some metal armor polish. Yeah, that's not gonna help me, I don't have armor. Um, maybe you can't use that. Yeah, no shit. But, I also bought some waterproof cream for your scales. Yeah, that would probably suit Undyne more than me. Your, uh, scales. Um, well, how about this magical spear of repair kit that I... Yeah, these are all for Undyne, aren't they? Hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating start. Yeah, let's, uh, date? Go on, then. Start it. You wanted this thing, not me. Uh, do you like anime? Yes, I like anime. Hey, hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? Anywhere but Hotlands, because it's hot. I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Uh, that's not really the first place I'd go on a date. Oh, I can see the little doggy in the garbage dump. Here we are. This is where a dog and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. But uh, she's really... Uh, wait. If this is a garbage dump and it has, like, our garbage in it from the upper world, like, how does it get here? Surely there's a way that they could just leave. Or is it just things can't leave a barrier? And also, it's like... She fell in the barrier at the beginning. It's like, no monster can just climb up there. But build a ladder or whatever, but oh, I'm not going to stress. Okay, it's, it's fine. It's, just ignore that. Oh no! That's her over there! I, I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no! Here she comes! Dude, she's like wearing proper clothes and shit. Hey, there you are. I uh, realise if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm going to do it. Give it to me! Huh? You don't have it. <coughs> Have you at least seen her? Uh, yeah. She's behind the bin. So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, well, I guess it's obvious, huh? Yeah, it's pretty fucking obvious. I uh, really like her. I mean, more uh, than I like other people. So you don't like me then? I'm sorry. I just figured, y y you know. It'd be fun to go on, like, a cute, kind of, pretend date with you, to, to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's a person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. No, not, not that you aren't, um, cool. But, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. Oh, let me see how hard you yourself. You did that thing at that one point in this, this game. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Uh, Probably tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Or she'll like you. So you won't know unless you tell her. Is it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Uh, Obviously, let's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which of us will be Undyne? Uh, you'll be Undyne. M me? Undyne? I, uh, 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 okay. I'll say what I think she'd say, and you, um, you show me what I'm supposed to do. Ahem. Yeah. Uh, hey, Alvis, you look cute today. Which I say often, but platonically, because I would never like you. Hi, Undyne. Oh, uh, actually, you're one hot, hot baby. I'm gonna say that. What? Uh, Alvis, what's gotten into you? Hot, hot baby? How dare you call me that? 
First off, I'm a baby knight. Captain of the babies. Treat my position with respect or I will strike you down. Uh, now pretend I'm suplexing a boulder for no reason. Um, anyway, what what do you, what do you want to say, Alfie? She's actually pretty good at this, you know. Uh, Alfie's gives you a kiss. Let's tell her the truth. Don't want to send any misleading signals. What? So you've been lying to me this whole time, Alfie's? I can't believe you. You you were with the slime. How could you betray our friendship? After how much I trusted you, Alfie's. I'll never love you. Never will you feel my passionate embrace. I, undying, will never kiss you with my beautiful lips. What did you just say? Busted. Uh, undying, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually we were the only romantic we were playing as you. What? I mean... I mean... Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well... Everything. I told you that seaweed was like specific, uh Really just so I used it to make ice cream. And those human history books keep reading, those are just the dorky comic books. And the history movies, those... Those are just, um, anime. Uh, they aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. That time I, Alfie's. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. Q. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alfie's. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alfie's. Shh. Into the bin. Alfie's! I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realise, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alfie's, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training just and I know just the training you need to do that. Fucking hell, I can't read for shit. I'm dying, you You're gonna train me <laughs> What? Me? Oh my god. Fucking love for papyrus. Nah, I'm gonna get papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaking! It's time to jog! 100 laps! Hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne? I'll do my best! Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics... Those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Anime is real. Ahaha! I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Alfie's. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to be better for her. Well, I'm gonna go catch up with them. Later. Oh, that was fucking random, wasn't it? Um, might as well just go ahead and see if there's anything else left to do. Oh, I remember this place. The, uh, the old, uh, garbage dump. The old uh, damage boost. I need to. I need to honk this horn again. Ooh. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, there is more. Ring. Howdy. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus. You're also a mutual friend. Alfie's and I finished our training early, very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now, I feel strongly, and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Well, if you say so, Papyrus, I'll do anything you ask me to. Uh, let's save. Well, I'll meet you at the lab.
this way. Okay, so now I'm in the lab and I don't really know what I'm looking for. Hey, it's me. It's me, OG Cabra. There's the big hole. Oh, hello. It's a note from Alfie's. Read it. Read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help out there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clean. Clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Oh. Oh, this isn't a toilet. I thought it was. Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power. EM Tevis ability lost. Altitude dropping! The end. I am dead now. More jokes. Don't think I can leave. Oh god, this place is very dark. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. Entry number 5. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death, the will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Holy shit. I have a power. Oh god. I don't like this place already. Power room. Buy chips for 25G. The vending machine dispensed some chips. Um, I have the money. I don't have the room. It's a fake plan. Ooh. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Entry number 6. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that have fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject in determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Looks like some bad things have been going on down here. Entry number 9. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust so I can't get the souls. I told the families I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Ugh, I don't want to know. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. It's some kind of switch. There's a red coloured slot in the centre. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. Okay. Oh, he's friendly. Oh, he's not friendly. What the fuck? Asterix drew near. Looks like Gygus from fucking Earthbound. Um. Okay. Uh. Now, you take out your cell phone, you hear voices through the receiver. Come join the phone! 
Oh god, what the hell is going on? This game likes to fucking escalate quickly, but nobody came. Um, I'm going to join them? Join them. Then hold still, become one of us. I don't think joining them is the right thing to do. Nope, can't spare him. Let's refuse. Be seeing you! Oh, they've gone. Or did they go before? Stop it! What is, even is this? Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Right. Okay, that was kind of freaky. I have a red key, and this was a red slot, so let's stick it in. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Alright, this place is freaking me out already. This got very dark very quickly. Let's save. I am going to explore the rest of this lab in the next episode. I do not know how long this episode was, but I have a feeling that... Uh, this lab might be quite big, so join me next time and we will go through this very spooky lab. Goodbye.